kind of went into a little bit of a rant later on in this video, so I came back to create this quick clip at the beginning to kind of summarize and give you the gist of what I would like this video to accomplish. And what I would like this video to accomplish is for you to join a fitness site and then later on and like a second later, join a fitness group that I created and where we can all be together and you know live in fitness harmony, motivate each other and just go towards our fitness goals together. So underneath this video, the first link is the invitee link. Click on that, join the site, you know, get your profile all set up. Then the second link is a clip, is a, uh, a link to the actual group that I created and make sure you join that as well to say, you know, we can all stick together. And I would like everyone that watches this video to join because fitness is like the most relevant thing in anyone's life, or it should be, um, because you need to stay fit to be healthy. So, but I mean, if you don't want to join, you don't have to, but I would love to see you there. And um, now kind of on to the rant. So it's summertime out right now, and most people, generally everyone, is trying to look amazing. But here's the thing, you shouldn't just limit yourself to summer to looking amazing. I mean, you should be trying all year round to look your best. That's why I propose you join a fitness group with me. I'm gonna talk about the site. The site is called Fitocracy, and it's basically like playing a game, which is great for me because I play a lot of TF2 and a lot of Dota 2, because Valve can't count to three. So it really works out, and it's basically like you get points and you level up. I mean, there's there's tons of other things. I mean, you know, there's there's great community, there's achievements, there's quests. But I mean, when you come right down to the core, it's you do exercises, you get points for those exercises, and after you get so many points, you level up. And I mean, and I know it's weird, but I have increased my working out so much ever since I joined this site. And I know, increasing my workout because I get points. Yeah, that sounds pretty retarded, right? No, you know why it doesn't sound retarded? Because it makes me want to work out more. And anything that makes you want to work out more and be more involved with fitness is by far not retarded. And a lot of people I talk to say they generally just don't have any time to work out. But if you really think about it, if you would work out an hour a day, that's like four point something percent of your entire 24 hours. That is so little. And these same people that say they don't have time to work out, they're always talking about, you know, sitcoms. Uh, are sitcoms still a thing? It's like cop TV shows now. But, but hey, let's talk reality TV shows. So these people would rather watch reality TV shows about beautiful people than work out. You know what you could do? Uh, you could work out and be involved in fitness and become one of these beautiful people that you like watching. Or, wow, I even got a better one. You know what you could do while you're watching these so-called beautiful people on reality TV shows? You could be working out yourself. Wow, at the same time, because you know what I do? I work out all the time and watch anime. Though, with me, I guess, it'd be different. I mean, it's not like me working out, I'm gonna get, you know, devil fruit powers and be able to stretch like Luffy from One Piece or something. And in life you have three very important people that are very, very close to you. You have your past self, your present self, and your future self. And I'll tell you, a lot of the times, present self is like, whew, I don't know if I wanna work out, but you know what? You have two against one, and we live in a democracy. Well, at least I hope that most people that are watching this video do. Sorry to the guys that don't, um, because past self is going to feel amazing when you are done working out. Never once have I been done with a workout and been like, man, really sucks dick I did that. I'm, I would have, I hated working out. That, that just didn't feel good. No, you know why? Because usually after a few minutes of working out, it starts to feel really good and you feel good about yourself. And later on you'll be like, yeah, I'm glad I did that. Even though present self didn't want to. And you know, future self is always going to be like, fuck yeah, getting in shape. Love that. Keep doing that kid. Now on this subject, let me just start off by saying you do not have to go to a gym to work out. You just, you don't. But I get a lot of emails and people are concerned with going to the gym. It's, um, it's more of a paranoia that they're going to get made fun of at the gym because they're larger or they're just starting out or something like that. And there may be one person like that, uh, but let me just say that person's an asshole and those people are everywhere. I mean, you, you're just going to run into that. Um, most people at the gym are generally sweethearts, um, very, very nice, and like they generally don't think bad things of you because what I found this is they think it's super cool that you're doing it. Like, let me talk about um, an experience I had. Um, there was a larger girl, it's called Spade of Spade. She was fat. This was a little over a year ago over at the gym that I work out at, and she kept on it or anything. And, and I thought it was super awesome that she was working out. And you know what now? Straight up average size, not fat anymore. 
And that is awesome. And the level of motivational quotes in the group is going to be pretty damn high because words get me pretty jazzed up to go work out. Like, sweat is fat crying. Every time you feel like shit, everyone you hate wins. And then there's one, I mean, I'm sure I can't remember all of it, but it's about two guys that are running. And at the end of it, like, this one guy's not winded at all. The other guy's just completely torn down and he's a good runner and he's like w how did you do that and the other guy's like well what do you imagine when you're running and he's like i imagine a wolf's chasing me and and i'm trying to get away from him real fast and then the one guy smiles and he's like i imagine i'm the one chasing the wolf speaking of running i just recently picked it up and yesterday i ran farther than i've ever ran in my entire life in one session before yesterday the farthest i ever ran was 3.4 miles in one session and i was super jazzed about that and that was only a couple weeks ago, but on the Fitocracy site, there's this quest that if you do 10k, you get 200 bonus points. I know, the points thing again, right? But it works, because I made it up to about, oh, I looked and I was like, oh, 3.5 miles. I was like, that's the farthest I've ever been in time for me to turn around and go home and, you know, get another .2 miles. Nope, kept going. Went for the 10k, so in like... I think it was like 52, 53 minutes or something like that. I ran 6.33 miles, and I am super sore over that. Like, my, my whole body is just sore. But you know what? I'm going to edit this video, and then I'm going to go lift weights for an hour and a half because I'm going to feel good about it when it's over. I urge you all to go join this little fitness group because you just join it. Like, maybe even if you don't want to work out right now, seeing other people doing things and accumulating the points and just talking about it and everything, that might be enough to motivate you to want to do it yourself. Finally, in this rather long video, I want to once again tell you how important it is to find, rather, just make time to work out. And I know a lot of you don't honestly have the luxury to do this at work. Like, I would be able to, much like the guy that actually did it, but on Friday, I was on the set of Pretty Little Liars, and it was like a 13-hour like call. So around 3 o'clock in the morning, we're not doing anything. We're just sitting, waiting to get called to set. And this dude starts working out, which we didn't get called to set for like another hour. So he ended up working out for like 40-some minutes. And like one, of the, like one of the PA people were like, what, what are you doing? Why, why are you working out now? And... It's because he normally does his workouts, like, on his Saturday workouts. He normally does them at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning. But, it, you know, sorry, 3 in the morning. We have no time. We have no idea what time we're going to get home. And so, because he's not going to be able to make it up in the morning to do it, he's doing it at 3 o'clock in the morning after we've been on set for, like, 11 hours at that point. And that's dedication, and that is really, really awesome. And... That, and I, like I said, I know a lot of you can't just boom right in the middle of your job, work out, but I mean, that's what you gotta do. You, you just have to f make time for working out. 